Hey guys, I hope you're doing great. So today I'm back with a new video and today we're going to look at how you can easily create a speed ramp transition in After Effects. So if you are confused as to how that works in After Effects, watch along as we do it together. So first and foremost, there are two ways that I know of to achieve this effect in After Effects. The first thing is using the program's inbuilt tool, which is called Time Remapping, which I'm going to cover in this video. And the other way is to do it through the plugin called Twixter which I will show in the next video. And you might ask, well, which one is the best and easiest way? In my opinion, if you are a totally beginner or intermediate at After Effects, I would suggest time remapping, as the majority of the people find that to be the easiest way, and I give them right if you are just starting out. Now for the tutorial. First, import your footage and drag it to your timeline. Next, trim the different parts of your footage to where you want your clip to transition to. In my case, I'm going to use this footage I found of some old folks celebrating. When you have trimmed your footage, we're going to apply the time remapping effect to the first clip. You do that by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T at the same time. When applying this effect, we get a start and an end point. Those don't really matter that much, just don't change their position. Now we are going to set our own end keyframe after the video has ended. When doing that, we just created another keyframe and nothing has happened yet. Now drag the keyframe to when the clip ends. This will speed up the footage because it is telling us that the end of the video should happen at this exact keyframe. Therefore, we are speeding the video up when dragging it to the left. Dragging the keyframe to the right would of course slow the clip down instead of speeding it up. Now you should have your two keyframes with a more sped up clip. Select both keyframes and press F9. This is where the speed ramp effect is created. You see the keyframes change and that is because they are not linear anymore which means we can now change how they ease in and out. To do that, we will go into the Graph Editor tool and change the shape to this curve. This is a curve that tells the footage to ease in fast at the beginning, slow it down in the middle and then ease it out fast again. This will create the super popular speed ramp effect. Now do the same for the rest of your footage. The process is the exact same. Tweak it a little bit and if you want it to really stand out, add a couple of impact effects in order for it to look really good. This is it for the video guys, I hope you enjoyed, make sure to stay notified to the channel, I will be posting a free After Effects preset pack soon, so stay alert.